greeting cards bulk making set up. So I'm making 20 of each design. She said my little cat tongs would come. I ordered these off Amazon. Little cat tongs. Oh, they're from Japan. Of course they are. Everything that's adorable is from Japan. <laughs> they're from my ice trays at home. <laughs> so I can pick up ice. <laughs> There's a big storm outside. I don't know if you can hear the rain. But it's so dark and dingy. Look how cosy it looks in here. Can you believe it's only half full? <laughs> guys so yesterday i started the vlog with the intention of actually starting like my greeting cards and stuff that ended up not happening at all so it ended up just being like a really cozy editing day anyway i got this new scoring board because i'm going to be printing my greeting cards in house for now to see how they sell and i have been going backwards and forwards whether i'm going to get them outsourced or in-house because when I get them outsourced the quality isn't quite as good but the paper's thicker. I'm going to experiment with this scoring board. I'm going to unbox this scoring board, it's just like a cheap one and see how it works and I'm going to begin bulk making the greeting cards. Uh, so let's get to work shall we? He's a familiar face, my broski is in the studio with us today just chilling out, Been vibing <laughs> on the spare desk over here. Can anyone remember when he uh, worked for Catniff? He used to be on the thank you cards at the back. Anyway, let's get to work shall we? Also has the card size look. Yeah. Well there, it's got a little heart already, exactly where I need to score it. That's very handy. It must have the popular sizes here because it's got little marks already. That's very handy. Because look. If we put this on, you can see this heart is where we would need to score it. How handy is that? Did we say this heart was the halfway mark? I think we did, didn't we? Ooh, that's so cool. Nice. I sometimes get lovely comments saying that I've inspired them in the small business. And honestly, 
it boggles my brain a little bit because half the time I'm just completely winging it or it feels like I'm completely winging it. Sometimes I actually have to take a stock and look around at what we have managed to do here at Catnip on what feels like sometimes like a pure whim. It actually makes me laugh a little bit because it's all just one big experimentation. Like this whole business thing feels like one big experimentation. I'm always growing and changing and adapting and experimenting. And this can come down to imposter syndrome, I guess, but honestly the older i get the more i think are we just literally all feeling like this is this what being an adult is experimenting trying things out never really knowing what the heck you're doing half the time it's actually funny because as a kid i used to look at adults and think one they knew exactly what they wanted out of life and number two they knew exactly what they were doing at every given time they knew everything about everything but now i feel like life is just one big experiment and i realize it's probably just all experimenting and trying stuff out and that's probably how we make progress in the end but it just boggles my brain that some people might find me inspiring when really I'm just clutching at straws half the time and just experimenting and exploring new things. Honestly one of the first places that I ever went to like learn about how to grow a small business was actually through like other people's YouTube videos and also Skillshare which are actually sponsoring today's video but I actually had a whole different segment film for Skillshare but it actually ties in perfectly. When I started my small business, I had no clue honestly what I was doing. Just like in this video, it was a lot of experimentation and watching other people online. And I used to watch so many different art vlogs and take so many different Skillshare classes. And actually the Skillshare classes used to be recommended from some of my favorite artists as well. Basically one of the largest online learning communities out there. And they have like a wide range of topics like illustration, small business. One thing I've been loving personally recently is productivity. So say for example, like me back in, I think it was like 2017, 2018, I'd just got an iPad. Before then, I used to illustrate all my work on a graphics tablet and I had no idea how to use like Procreate on the iPad. Well, they've got like a learning path for beginners to Procreate. So say you've just got an iPad or you want to get into digital illustration or something like that. They've even got like a learning path like Procreate Basics like this one where you can actually just go and yeah, educate yourself. And it's really good because to break down the classes and you know like stages. So if you're anything like me and don't have time to like sit down and take a massive two hour chunk they have broke down classes in stages and you can come back to those classes in your own time modern technology and tools like skillshare just open up so much potential to learn new skills and experimenting like this is how i started my business and did all this in the first place and i'm constantly learning new things like at the moment i'm trying to learn how to get better at vlogging i'm trying to get better at productivity a huge thank you to skillshare for sponsoring this video but i just thought that was like a great segment if you guys want to learn how to start a small business, start illustration, graphic design, you name it. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can find out. Anyway, let's get back to work on bulk making these greeting cards, shall we? Put it out of card myself. That can be the old ones. I think I'm gonna get a new basket. Put envelopes here. I'm gonna take that. This is all the posters. Find a new organisation spot for the new greeting cards. These are the envelopes we're gonna be using. Uh, maybe this fits perfectly, so maybe I can use one of these baskets. So this is my little greeting cards bulk making setup that I'm going to be using. I've got these three baskets. I've got another one of these somewhere, so I'm going to try and find it. Oh, 
I can see up there. So I'm going to use these baskets to put all the greeting cards in and label them. They've got old labels on. These are my catnip labels. If anyone's interested, you can buy these in different colours. I'm going to use them. And I've got my envelopes here. And I'm currently bulk making them. So this is the final piece. So I'm going to put the envelope in between. Oh no, I've got a mark on this one. Oh damn it. Okay, that's now a second. Wait, I think I need to... It, what is this? I think I need to clean this desk first. Damn it, this desk is so gross, by the way. But I'm gonna bulk make them now. I've already bulk made a few here. What I do is I actually score them before I cut them because it, it saves time, because obviously I can score two in one. And I'm gonna lay them out, then I'm gonna fold them all, and then I'm gonna put them in the basket. So it's gonna go score, cut, basket, 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 and organize. Let's get to work, shall we? Trying to learn how to make it in case I'm away. So I've got them already set set up and I've made a print profile that says greeting cards for you to print. So you just print them out like this and then you put them on the scoreboard here and you see where that love heart is already marked. I didn't need to mark it myself. You just press that in and then go down like that on the board so it like gives a score mark, can you see? And then you put it in the chop pile and then you just chop this perfectly. And you don't need to trim anything else. I'm just making 20 because you can obviously get two cards on one sheet. So I'm making 20 of each design for now. So I scored them like that. And then I'm going to just line it up here, you know, where the cloud is, where it ends. Line it right and make sure it's straight and then cut it and then it's done. And then I'll put an envelope in it and stack them. That's it. Pretty good, I'm alright. You think good enough, Polly? I hope they are. I hope everyone likes them. I think I'm going to fold them and put the envelope in before we put them in the basket Mike said that you know keeping them like that the bend over time so I'm just cutting them for now and then I'll fold them with the envelopes in one of the seconds cards i have these greeting card label tabs that i got into my shop ages ago but they were actually leaving a residue so i'm just testing it with this card because it is really cute like i think that finishes it off the branding and these are actual proper card tabs i think the texture of the paper might not work it would be handy for us to keep them like this when i'm putting them away in the basket i can put these on just to keep it all in place and it keeps them neat i'm gonna peel this off yeah, it's too hard to peel. See, it looks good, but... No, they're too sticky. Yeah, the leave a residue. It's such a shame because these are actually advertised as... Yeah, as, like, greeting card tabs. And I bought these off printed.com. And they're just too sticky. They're not usable at all. And it's kind of a pain having to peel this off. I absolutely hate peeling stickers off things. Oh, that reminds me. I need to take the glue remover home. Walk right past me, pretending like you don't see. What's yours for the taking tonight? Ooh. Show me your soul, baby. I'll show you mine. Show me your soul. Can't you see it's way past time?
basket's all loaded up ready. We just need to do a stock count of all the greeting cards. We've done the SKUs and we've turned some upside down just because the seam uh, makes everything really fat. And we've got GC001 to GC004. I wish I used my thicker tabs so that you couldn't see the grey, but never mind, it still looks cute. Been using my basic label set. You can get them in a solid colour with different gradients, or you can get a multicolour pack. As you can see, I use them all the time now. And I've just labelled the front as well. So I'm going to put these somewhere on the shelves. No, I'm thinking how much you want to move them. Which ones? kind of looks a little odd so I need to change the old greeting cards to the same sort of style and then maybe have the baskets all like up like that but Hello. good evening vlogs I had some personal vlogs I wanted to edit after work tonight so after eating my tea and making a nice drink in one of our bumble butt tumblers and also using this cute teddy bear ice cube tray that I got I cozied down for the evening and edited pretty much for the rest of the night I'll see you in next week when we'll be actually making up some of these tumblers and trying our brand new auto heat press alright then thank you so much for watching I love you